Megan's here with us now for a look at the forecast. What a yeah. wild, loud night. <laughs> we had a <laughs> lot of thunderstorms. You're right. Tons of thunder and lightning rolled through the area. But then by the time most of you were up, uh, the showers were pretty minimal and really nothing to write home about. However, we certainly had them out there. Let's take a look at our weather watchers and see what we're dealing with. I've got temperatures pretty much in the 60s and 70s. Here's a 67 degree temperature coming in for Belt and Isley. Still reporting a little bit of shower activity. And I've got a 77 degree temperature from Kennedy Rodriguez. Kennedy's in Manuka and sends us this absolutely beautiful picture. It just kind of says fall to me, but uh, technically it's still summer and it's really going to feel like it over the course of the next few days. Looking live out over Lakeshore Drive, the lakefront, beautiful Chicagoland. It is a bit cloudy. Um, we do expect to see some cloud cover probably for the remainder of the day today with a few more peaks of sunshine coming in the back half of the afternoon. Just a few lingering showers out there right now. Let's take a peek at what we're dealing with. Just see that rain that's a little bit in place across the city of Chicago, stretching up uh, I-90 out to the west, and just a few showers as well out around South Bend. For the most part, we're looking at a pretty easy go of things for right now. Temperature-wise, we're at 70 degrees. That's coming in from uh, Midway. We've got 71 for O'Hare, 69 degrees Waukegan, 72 McHenry, and about 73 degrees around DeKalb. Now to the latest on Maria. Still, again, a Category 5 storm churning with a beautiful eye visible right there. Center of circulation clear and distinct. This is a force of nature. Again, a Category 5 storm, but you'd want to be anywhere but in its path. Right now, it's headed towards uh, the uh, Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Right now, with wind sustained to 160 miles per hour, it's moving west-northwest at about 10, taking a similar track to that of Irma. But let's take a peek at some subtle differences here. While it's still expected to move across Puerto Rico, potentially as a Category 4, now maybe north, a little bit farther north of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. And at this point, the Hurricane Center expects it to make that turn to the north a little earlier, uh, adjusting for a weakness in the ridge. So what we're going to be looking at potentially is if this were to take its far western track, it would be more of a concern for Florida. As it is, it could be a concern for the Carolinas or potentially the northeast. Really just have to keep an eye on it because wherever it goes, it's still about a week away. Now forecast highs for today around Chicagoland coming in at 78 degrees Chicago. 72 for Zion, 80 degrees for Ottawa and for Aurora. And right now we're expecting to see those showers end here pretty quickly. 76 degrees, the high temperature today. Seven day planner takes us out uh, with highs, which will be uh, going way up. We're talking about a big heat uh, coming in for the next couple of days, starting on Wednesday, continuing into Thursday, really not going anywhere for the weekend either. So we're in for quite the summer like week and it's uh, different from what we've had lately. We were in the 60s and 70s there for the last couple of weeks and now we're getting close to the official start to fall and it feels more like summer. So we're kind of mixed up, but yeah. that's okay. We get a nice warm summer week. Every time I see Saturdays that are nice in September, I think about all the brides getting married. Yes, you know, it's a gift, you just, isn't it, it really is, yeah. especially in Chicago. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Megan. Sure.